This way, baby. Oh, what is up, everybody? So apparently, and I guess we'll let some people get in here. There's a name, some some Maxi Boy. I think that's his first name. Is Maxi Boy. But old Maxi Boy, you cannot speak the guy's name. Um, out him as a supposed whistleblower. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens with this video, Maxi Boy. Um, but they are taking down uh, anybody that mentions Maxi Boy's posts on Facebook, which is really bizarre. Listen, guys, what, real whistleblowers are never protected. They're never protected. They're smeared. Um, they're uh, spied on. They're assaulted. Um, they're tortured. They're Julian Assange. For instance, you know, Pamela Anderson just made an uh, open uh, letter, you know, uh, a Hollywood star, somebody who's, no offense, but her uh, fame was much bigger 10, even 20 years ago, obviously. And now she's just another kind of like voice in the wilderness where we have a real guy, he's not even a whistleblower, he's a publisher, being tortured, um, wrongfully um, being jailed, right? And on top of all that, we're doing nothing. And he's demonizing the media. But now there is a push for some kind of an Orwellian censorship, not only on Facebook, but this platform. Um, Dice, who, you know, love him or hate him, you know, I, I think uh, Mark still does some pretty good work. I certainly don't agree with everything Mark does, but he's never agreed with everything I've done either. And uh, he's saying that anybody that mentions this guy's name, Maxi Boy, um, and we're gonna we're gonna go way deeper than just that when we do a, a video, uh, an actual broadcast later this afternoon. He's saying that all those videos are turned private. You know, 2019. If you think that Chinese-style uh, internet censorship isn't already here, I mean, it's here. When you can take somebody off the net, when you can. Uh, protect the identity of somebody because you think you're giving them whistleblower status and I'm reading articles these days uh, about impeachment right BBC to air impeachment hearings uh, as far as I know karma come on as far as I know there's still no impeachment hearings of any sort right that's not crazy of me to say is it there's supposed to be an inquiry into an investigation to see if they can uh, start articles of impeachment, right? Articles of impeachment have not been signed, have they? Right? Oh, I mean, all these inquiries, all this bullshit, when there's real things wrong with this administration, when the surveillance state grows daily, when there are real scandals in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Yemen, that nobody seems to want to talk about, the, the real stuff. By the way, uh, 113 watching, only 29 thumbs up. Can we double that? Can we get to 60? Karma, can we get to 60 likes? By the way, I am with the girls, um, but my buddy, it's a long shot away, my buddy and good friend of over 20 plus years, actually my fraternity brother, uh, he was my pledge master. He's an old man like myself. He's got a few kids. Nice shot, baby! <laughs> um, he's over there playing some basketball with him while I walk the dog because it's basketball season and they're both really excited about playing and I'm excited for them. Uh, guys, sports is actually good for kids. It gets them outside of that basic school structure. It gets them working with people that may, they may not socialize with otherwise and towards a goal also teaches them the importance of being somewhat physically fit, right? So anyway, where did I go to college? Here in Oneonta. That's how, that's how I came to Oneonta, New York is I was a, a wee freshman of 18 years old. Actually, I visited when I was 17, the pre-freshman screening. I was a youngin. Anyway, getting back to 2019, you know what they weren't doing in 1997? Well, the, the internet barely existed. Uh, it was mostly message boards, not a lot of video content. Even the picture content was somewhat hard to come by. Uh, blogs were not really in existence, but would start to grow in the late 90s, but really in the early 2000s. And then the mid to late 2000s is when you got vlogs like this one, right? Yes, AOL, my instant messenger was Jason B. Wonderful. I thought it was a great uh, a great instant messenger name. That's all pre 9-11 though, my, my AIM name. But you know what we didn't do? We didn't censor information. People were pretty stoked that this was just 
you know, the wild, wild west where anything could be printed, published, you could have your own discernment, you could decide. But now guess what? Big tech decides. And the government and the media and honestly, the real deep state, they decide. And it's kind of funny. It's like the more they try to censor information like Maxi Boy, the, uh, the name you cannot name. And I don't know much about Maxi Boy. I just know what the allegations are. I know that uh, I think Dean Kane was now attacked for outing the wrong whistleblower. But from what I've seen also on the other side or really every side of the spectrum, the uh, employee that was fired, not by ABC, but by CBS, right? For leaking the ABC footage to Veritas, that person says that they weren't the leaker, that they basically got fired for nothing. Now, I don't know one way or the other. Veritas has said that uh, she is not the leaker. I can't confirm any of it, but I can say this, in a world where the cover-up culture has gone even far beyond what video I did yesterday. Uh, I didn't get a lot of views yesterday, but I did a video basically saying, hey, this whole cancel culture, that's nothing. We've had a cover-up culture. And I went back to as far as the Iraq war and 9-11. Well, it goes far beyond that. All right, it goes far, 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 far beyond that. Think about what you were sold for years and years and years on JFK and RFK and MLK. Think about what you were sold on to get us into the Vietnam War. There's so much. All these things are the results of a populace that unfortunately in large numbers goes along to gets along, believes what they hear and see on television, likes to pick a side other than team humanity, right? Team humanity is all one side, baby. 169 watching, 74 likes. Can we get it to 100? Can we get it to 100 likes? Team humanity is the, the team you want to play for. All right, not team blue, not team red. The Democrats aren't the party of Satan. Whoever's telling you that is, is into some Johnny nonsense, okay? They're the party of Satan. <laughs> you better reach out to your brothers and sisters. And you know what, there's a great video. Right now, I have my uh, UFC Moscow. It's live in Moscow right now on pause, right? Me and Pete were watching it, but the kids really wanted to do the park thing and Parma up, you know, she loves that dog walk and I can't get enough of it. So anyway, we have that on pause, but champ champ, he should be a champ champ. He could be a champ champ. My man, Habib Namurgamedov gets asked why he doesn't rock the Russian flag. And he has a great response, okay? And you can go check it out. I tweeted it, it's on my Twitter. Please go check it out. And he says, look, that's a good question. I'm glad somebody asked that question. First of all, I don't think that by wearing a flag for a country that just makes me a patriot. I don't go around punching old men and raping women and drinking alcohol. Who's he referring to? You know who he, he's referring to. He's referring to McGregor. He got a standing ovation after he said what he said. Now he said it in Russian. Uh, the clip is from RT. You will not see that clip in the United States of America. Number one, he's spot on with that. Wearing a flag or saying Americana a hundred times doesn't make you a patriot, okay? Standing up to authority, speaking truth to power, not taking political sides. That, in my opinion, having discernment, being involved, helping your community, taking care of your family, taking care of your own life. Those are the type of patriotic things we could talk about in team humanity. Individual freedoms, fighting for the little guy, understanding that, you know, censorship coming all the way back to the beginning of this is not the answer, no matter what. More speech is better than less speech. And at some point, you got to say, look, there's a lot of things to go Trump for Trump after, but the fact that the entire media and political spectrum refuses to even reference that Biden is on camera with CFR President Richard Haas bragging about withholding a billion dollars, a billion dollars from the Ukraine until they fire the prosecutor going after his son. Come on, give me a break. No one's brought that up and now we're gonna impeach the president for saying, hey, maybe we should go back into this investigation. I don't care if he asked, or they're gonna try. They're gonna do their damnedest. And by the way, the, the quote unquote whistleblower can't mention his name, Maxi Boy. We're censoring for Maxi Boy. 98 thumbs up, can we get it to over 100? Can we do it? 
Can we do it in this last leg of the walk as we enter the basketball court where the kids are playing and they're telling me to go away? But I won't go away. I'm not going away from the basketball game and I'm not going away from the internet because I just talked a little bit about Maxi Boy. You're not going to kick me off, are you, YouTube? <laughs> Guys, um, later this afternoon after UFC Moscow, I will be hitting it big. Here, take the dog for a second. Take the, take the dog so I can finish this up. Thank you. Um, I am going to be doing a Jeffrey Epstein Black book as promised. We're going to pick up where we left off after the uh, first two videos. Then we are also going to be doing more of the Finders part. I think it's going to be part five or six, depending on whether you uh, count the Derek Bros interview as one of the parts. I want to say this. Thumbs the video up. Share it with others. I got to go fund me. That's how I'm surviving. I love you guys. It's not about left or right. It's always about right or wrong. Take care of your friends and family. Hug somebody today. Tell them you love them because you never know when your last day is going to be. I love you guys. I'll see you on the